Illum Tools is a simple, fast, and accurate way to compute point-by-point -point illuminance inside of Revit. Illum Tools operates with Revit 2012 MEP or architecture. When installed, it appears on its own Illum Tools tab. The Illum Tools commands are shown below. Here we have a simple Revit project. Luminaires can be seen in a ceiling plan view and you can work from any view that rooms or spaces are visible. Let's begin by selecting the Illum Tools Luminaire Manager. Luminaire Manager collects all Luminaire families defined in the Revit project. Only those in use are currently shown. We can show the unused families in the list as well. All Luminaires must have a photometric web source type to be used for calculations. That is shown by this icon. Select a Luminaire. We can view and edit details, such as lamp lumens, watts, ballast factor, and light loss factor. Illum Tools provides a light loss factor calculator. Additional information is provided on separate tabs, such as descriptive information from the IES file and luminous dimensions of the source. The red X means there is no IES file associated with this family. As long as it has a photometric web source type, we can assign an IES file. The IES file can be anywhere on your computer or network. A new IES file is now assigned. When we are certain all lighting fixtures have photometric sources and lumens, watts, and light loss factor are assigned, we can close the Luminaire Manager. Now let's look at Material Mapping. Material Mapping provides a way to map Revit material properties to Illum Tools material properties. All in-use materials are shown with a check mark. Scroll the list and we can see unused materials as well. Illum Tools has limited access to Revit material properties. The green link arrow tells us properties are extracted from Revit. Reflectance comes from the Revit material graphics color. In this case, 91% is too high. Let's change it to 80%. Notice the link has changed to red as Illum Tools is no longer making the association with Revit. Check some other properties. We have carpet at 35% reflectance. Glass is automatically transparent. Transmits of 75% and 79%. Some optional properties are available as well. We can fine-tune the radiosity mesh. We can set the color bleed or apply a self-emitting surface luminance. We're all set. Let's move on. The next step is to add calculation points to a room or space work plane. We'll work with rooms in this example. Select a room. Now let's set the point spacing and the work plane height. We'll center the points and adjust the light meter if necessary. We're now ready to perform the point by point calculations. Working with rooms, select the Calculate Room command. Let's compute a single room. Select Room 11. When Illum Tools calculates, you can watch the interaction of light and surface. Illum Tools intelligently subdivides the surface mesh automatically. A fully interactive draft visualization is provided to help understand the lighting solution.
The calculation points are visible in the rendered view. We can turn them off at any time from the display options. We can look at luminance, which is reflected light, or illuminance, which is incident light. Pseudocolor can show illuminance or luminance. We can set a maximum value to control the color scale. Currently illuminance with a ceiling of 50 foot candles, oh, 5 foot candles, 15 foot candles, and back to 30 foot candles. Overlay the radiosity mesh. Turn pseudocolor off and turn off the mesh. We can maximize the visualization and navigate a bit. Stop playing. Get to work. Let's look at the numeric results. Select the View Results command. The point markers are scaled in color. Here's the scale. You can set your own display style in Revit properties. Let's calculate multiple rooms in one execution. Select the multiple calculation option. Now select the rooms, room 11 and room 12, and click the finish button. We can isolate or combine the rooms for calculation purposes. Isolating computes each room separately and opens multiple visualization windows. Combining is generally used when light might contribute to both or multiple rooms or spaces. We'll try the combine option now for illustration purposes. Computing both rooms These rooms are easily isolated from one another. A better example would be a hallway into another room or space. You get the idea. Hide the point by point results. We do this with the hide results command. Let's talk about calculation settings for a moment. Optimized geometry is currently selected. This is the default. This is typically your best option to enable all surface features in the room or space. Other options are available. The simple option includes only the surfaces creating the room or space boundary. No doorways or windows. And elements may include entire walls or floors bounding more than one room or space. We can include hosted elements such as windows and doors. This is true in our example. We can include room or space contents as well, such as furniture. Let's try it. Let's compute room 11 again, as there's actually a desk inside. We can now see the desk. That's our overview of Illum tools in Revit 2012, MEP or architecture. A fast and elegant solution to electric lighting analysis within the Revit environment.